This is the G Wolves HSK Pro 4K, and the one in this box could start a fire if I were to charge it. Don't worry, this one here is the replacement. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on with this mouse. It's pushing the boundaries of what's possible, but has it pushed too far? I'm going to go over the specs, shape and more to find out just who this mouse is made for and whether or not you should even consider it as an option. And also how, as someone that holds their mice like this, got on with this. Going back, this mouse literally exploded on the scene last November. Some did have a faltry battery that caused them to catch fire while charging. Fortunately for me, I had received my version on the day that this issue became apparent, so I never even had to take mine out of the box. This is it, it's still in its complete wrapping, I've just not had the time to properly dispose of it. I could have taken it out of the box, charged it and given myself third degree burns, but my hands are already ruined anyway. I am no stranger to this mouse as I reviewed the HSK Ace, but there is some differences here. I mean, I thought the HSK was small, but the Pro 4K is even smaller. The dimensions are crazy. It's 73 millimeters long, 56 millimeters wide, and 29 millimeters tall. Here it is in comparison to some other mice. When I do this, it reminds me of those infographics where the average human is sized in comparison to a T-Rex or a skyscraper. Oh yeah, there are some problems that I had with this shape, which I'll get onto a bit later. But what's even more impressive is the weight. It is just 29 grams. This is lighter than a bag of crisps or potato chips. It absolutely blows my mind just looking at this and knowing this is a functional gaming mouse. I mean, it looks like a toy. I could probably swallow it if I tried. Which I won't, that would just be silly. There's some really interesting parts of this mouse which is revealed thanks to the holes. You can really see some of the areas where G-Wolves have really pushed the limits here. Be it the scroll wheel almost coming out through the underside of the mouse or even the pins of the switches. So this is a very small mouse. Hopefully though it's not small where it matters the most, eh? Because this mouse comes with some of the biggest numbers seen in gaming as you're getting some of the best available hardware inside this. There's a few extras as well, which most people won't know what it means if I said them, but trust me, it's packing. It also matches what comes with the HTS 4K that I reviewed before, which I also reviewed poorly, but do I feel the same with this HSK 4K? You get a 3395 sensor with 4000 Hz wireless polling rate by default. The battery life seems pretty decent to be fair, I've not had to charge it with the micro USB cable that much. In fact, when you plug it in, this does go down to 1000 Hz. A bonus for this mouse as well, you do get a 4000 Hz polling rate dongle included. There's also some different switches called Zippy. These feel a bit lighter than a lot of others I've used recently, but they're actually great. They don't have such a crispy feel to them compared to some of the more common ones these days, like the KLGM 8.0s, but these do feel a little bit more like polished Omrons to me. They're personally fantastic. Unfortunately, there is no DPI toggle on this mouse at all. You do have to install the garbage tier software if you want to change your DPI. Now we get to the most important thing, gaming. And I'll be very honest here. I hated playing with this mouse. But you might like it. I personally found it hard to control. I kept on fiddling with it, trying to get a comfortable grip. This is obviously for a specific user and I am just not it. I was able to play with it, but I just couldn't get comfortable with it no matter how hard I tried. I find often that my aim would just wiggle a lot. I tried changing my mouse pad to something slower to try and sort of counteract and make wiggling a little bit harder, but it just didn't work. I mean, even when I use a scroll wheel as well, there'd be points when the mouse would just move just a little bit and it would be very annoying in game. So it's just not made for me. Now, previously I reviewed this, the HTS Plus 4K, and I was quite critical of it. If I do my opinions carry over to, to this one. You do get the now patented G Wolves quality, so you get a sense of tacky quality around the mouse, and a stick is required to turn the mouse on and off again. And these sticks are earwax removers. I will never ever stop reminding people of that. 
But unlike the HTS, which I said is a waste of money and needlessly expensive, this I think actually has a justification of costing more, just because I could imagine the large amount of resources that have been needed to get this powerful hardware in such a small mouse. I may be performing some mental gymnastics here, but it just doesn't feel as tacky as the HTS 4K. Besides, the lightweight that's achieved with the HSK might only be possible by sacrificing in certain areas. I mean, it does look cheap and tacky. It, this literally looks like it comes out of a Christmas cracker. I used that joke before, but this time I'm being serious. But it is trying to be as lightweight and small as possible, so it does get a little pass here. But then there's the price. This thing costs around $180, which is a lot of money. And that cost still stings today, and I bought this like six months ago. Like every time I use this, I just realize that this costs $180 and this financial hit could sting less if you joined our YouTube membership program. For just a small amount of money each month, you can help offset the poor financial decisions that we make. So why wait? Join today. I do really feel like there should be a higher emphasis on quality on these kind of things again because the quality on this just still isn't there yet, but it's still impressive getting an insane amount of amazing hardware in such a teeny tiny little mouse. Whether or not you should buy it though is a risk. I mean, if you look at this and think, yeah, this is a gaming mouse that I want that looks like it's going to be perfect for me, then by all means buy it. But I wouldn't recommend buying this unless you were 100% sure it was great for you. If you want my full thoughts on the HTS S Plus 4K, the review is on screen now for you to enjoy.